Just direct your feet to the sunny side of the street. Let's talk for a moment about multiple sclerosis, a horrid disease that seems to be increasing quite rapidly. Did you know that multiple sclerosis occurs uh, in the northern climes much more than the southern climes, at least up to the point where we reach the equator, and then it increases as we go toward the far southern climes and the South Pole. And what we find out, interestingly, is right at the equator, virtually multiple sclerosis disappears. Well, guess what happens? There's a lot of sunlight at the equator, and there's not much sunlight in northern climes. They're cloudy. They have a very short vitamin D season to produce vitamin D because the sun uh, is at a different angle in those northern latitudes. And the beautiful thing about vitamin D that's produced in relation to sunlight is that it is able to decrease the risk of autoimmune diseases. Multiple sclerosis is one of those autoimmune diseases. And so, as we get out of the sunlight, as we've been told to do, and that we start covering ourselves when, with sunscreen, as we've been told to do, our vitamin D levels go down. And when we move to a sunnier climb, the research shows us that our chance of getting multiple sclerosis dramatically decreases. Young children who are exposed to a lot of sunlight have a dramatically decreased risk of ever getting multiple sclerosis. It goes on and on. Multiple sclerosis, folks, to a great extent, is a disease of vitamin D deficiency caused by not getting enough of your greatest friend, God's own sunlight. So the next time you think about staying out of sunlight, ask yourself, do I want multiple sclerosis? And if you don't, I suggest you direct your feet to the sunny side of the street.